Hey there, this is Nathan and welcome to day number 70 of the Sauna Challenge. Remember you can go to saunachallenge.blogspot.com for all the sonnets we've done up to this point. Now for day number 70 we have sonnet number 145 and I have a Link here helping me out with the sonnets. So, hi Link, how are you doing? Uh, Link is going to lick my ear while we talk about the sonnets for a little bit. Um, so, uh, 145 was a really fun sonnet to work on and uh, it's actually the only one of the 154 not written in the usual iambic pentameter. It's uh, put in more of a, uh, uh, I guess, a form that was considered more for uh, uh, comedy or uh, uh, jest. It's very, there's very, uh, very much a jerky rhythm to it, um, kind of the start, salt, stop, and halting uh, energy. So uh, that was really interesting to note. And I also had fun because uh, I was able to explain this sonnet uh, to the uh, one of the baristas at the Starbucks where I was hanging out and working on this, uh, and share with her this sonnet and the kind of the story behind it, and uh, she got it and she thought it was really great and really fun. So that was kind of a sonnet in action, or, uh, or at least a sonnet experience in action. So without further ado, uh, there might be a couple other notes I share at the end, but why don't we give sonnet number 145 a shot. Those lips that love's own hand did make breathe forth the sound that said, I hate to me that languished for her sake. But when she saw my woeful state, straight in her heart did mercy come, chiding that tongue that ever sweet was used in giving gentle doom, and taught it thus anew to greet. I hate she altered with an end, that followed it as gentle day, doth follow night, who, like a fiend, from heaven to hell is flown away. I hate, from hate away she threw, and saved my life, saying, Not you. And I think it is very funny, and the barista thought it was very funny, that... Uh, uh, what the story behind this is. Let me see a couple notes I might want to share here. Um, that uh, Oh, uh, th there was this interesting note that there may be uh, some possible puns in the last couple lines. Hate away uh, and saved. Uh, possible puns on Hathaway and, and, and saved. Anne, as in Anne Hathaway saved. So, you know, it's possible Shakespeare was alluding to his wife um, and not the contemporary actress. Uh, but uh, So that was something interesting. And, and yeah, that the beloved could save the lover's life with a friendly glance was almost commonplace in literature. Uh, this, uh, there's definitely this uh, begging quality of, for pity and mercy from, from the poet towards his mistress in this. So it was a really fun time to work on and I really enjoyed uh, learning about it. Uh, when I first read through it, really didn't get what was going on and, and definitely enjoyed learning more about the levels. So that was sonnet number 145. I would love to hear what you think. What did you like? What did you not? What did you understand? What did you not? And then feel free to take sonnet number 145 and run with it. Make it yours. Have a blast. I hope you're doing really well. Remember sonnetchallenge.blogspot.com and until next time.